It may be hard to believe, but a silent fly one-third the size of a mosquito can create massive ulcers in victim's skin with a single bite. And can basically eat your life. Your face can become a huge crater. The bite transfers this tiny parasite, which causes cutanea slushmaniasis. Maldonado and a team at University of Texas at El Paso are developing a vaccine they hope will prevent the disease and reduce the challenging side effects in people who do get infected. You will suffer secondary infections that will make it even worse. And even though you seek treatment and get cure, the scarring stay. The disease currently affects 1.2 million people around the world each year in 88 countries. Some U.S. troops in Iraq have even been infected, but Maldonado thinks the number will grow. We are expanding our cities, so we are invading the airspace. So I think that it's only a matter of time that we see more and more uh, autochthonous infections here in the area. After five years of research, Maldonado and her team have an 86% success rate in mice and are looking to move on to primate testing and eventually test on humans. They've used antibodies from infected victims and tested different lipids, carbohydrates, and proteins. They've found antibodies are being created in vaccinated mice, which is a major measure of success. So in this case, it's uh, really important to test if our vaccine is actually producing antibodies. Maldonado says so far her effort to create the vaccine has been successful, but it will be at least eight years before it's ready for production. In El Paso, Texas, Ray Bogan, Fox News.